Um, I suppose most people would accept that uh, the crisis in relation to uh, unemployment is getting worse. Um, it doesn't give anyone any joy to come in here and talk in relation to uh, the difficulties that people face in relation to their unemployed. Um, I don't think anyone uh, who is receiving, whether it's 180, 80 euro a week, uh, wants to be in that situation. Certainly most of the people that I've talked to in relation to my own constituency, I don't think anyone wants to be left in a situation where they're not uh, facing the prospect of uh, getting a job. And I suppose we, we, wrong, we have wronged these people in a sense that, one, they were promised that they would, they would see change. Uh, they're constantly being told that oh, their, their situation is a priority. But we haven't seen a delivery in relation to that. And I suppose that's how we wrong, wrong those people, and we wrong them on a daily basis. <coughs> um, one, one, of the, one of the difficulties of most people that, that, that I talk to in relation to the unemployment situation is that it's the lack of hope. And that's the crisis that's out there. There's, there's no hope coming down the track in relation to it. People eagerly turn on their television or listen to their radio and they, they hear people talking in terms of, oh, there's going to be this coming down the tracks and that coming down the track. But the next week or the month after or six months after, they're still in the same situation. Now, the constituency I represent, uh, like my colleague here from Donegal, is one of the highest in the country. Uh, that's not the fault of the people that live in that area. We have two government ministers, we have a, a backbench um, TD for the, the area, but the jobs haven't been seen to be delivered in that area. All the years that I've been active in that area, I haven't see, heard anyone talking in terms of, uh, oh, let's get a, um, a crisis management, let's bring people together in relation to, pull people together in relation to see what we can do for jobs in the area. There's no plan coming forward from, from government in relation to this. So we've, pro we've, pro we've they've promised uh, change, promised to revitalise the economy, and, and repeatedly stated that job creation is one of the main priorities. But despite what this, the government says, I believe it's quite obvious that the pros pros process of uh, austerity and debt repayment is the, main go the government's main priority and not jobs. We haven't seen the, the promised 100,000 jobs. The government has pursued uh, government cutbacks and austerity policies with such conviction that over the past year, 30,000 jobs have been lost in the public sector. These include nurses, doctors, teachers, post economic growth has been minuscule, and the unemployment crisis has deepened. If job creation is the number one priority for government, the fact that emigration and the resilience of some of our SMEs have had a bigger impact on suppressing unemployment rates than the government's own policy. It's, I think it's a damning uh, indictment of our performance to date in relation to it. And as I say, most people would accept that the government have failed to address the scale of the problem facing our people and invest in job creation. It doesn't make sense to people where they, there's funding in relation to the National Pension Fund, and we're not actually using that money as a stimulus package in relation to jobs. It doesn't add up. That money is supposed to be put aside for a rainy day. Well, we've had winters, not rainy days. We've had winters over the last number of years. And yet, you know, the government, in its own wisdom, uh, decides they're not going to invest that in, 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 in job stimulus package in relation to it. Jobs should be the number one uh, priority for government. Getting our people back to work will reduce the deficit, sustain public service, and contribute to resolving the debt issue. No, Mr. Bond. I suppose there's a huge amount I want to talk to here in relation to it, but I, I just want to concentrate in just the last minute in relation to um, like we've seen unemployment getting worse and worse in relation to it, right? There's, there's one section of workers. You know, employers in the state need to respect the rights of workers. We've seen the government criticise employers like Visa or uh, Cortex for the growing trend of leaving workers in the cold. But there's also workers in the IBRC, Minister in relation to who are given a package, who are given agreement in relation to redundancy package. And now the state, through its new legislation, is walking away from that agreement. So there needs to be, you know, we can't say, we can't give out to employers in the private sector and at the same time turn our back on workers in relation to it. So if anything comes out of this debate, Minister, in relation to this tonight, maybe you might look at that area. And this is a motion being put forward in a positive basis. We want to get a discussion going in relation to it. And I think there's a responsibility on us all to come up with solutions in relation to crisis and employment. Thank you.